The next thing we're going to learn is we're going to replace a jean zipper. Our main objective when doing a jean zipper is we do not want to have to touch the decorative top stitching. It is virtually impossible to get that put back in the same, the same pattern so that it works into all the same wear marks. So the technique we're going to learn today, we will not have to touch that decorative top stitching. Um, our main goal will be making sure that the threading that we use will match the jean itself. Here we have like a medium to dark blue. When we use a small enough stitch as well as match the color, the threading, how we're going to sh do the technique, will not show. I have other people try this technique and they did not use the threading properly or they didn't have a small enough stitch and they did not get the results that they need. And if you do the technique properly, then it will be a perfect jean all the time. I always purchase my jean zippers or any of my zippers in a longer format. This here is a size 9 inches, so this way we can just shorten it as we need. So let's get started. We're going to start taking out the broken jean zipper. The first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to be taking out the two areas of bar tacking that are generally on jeans. So take your razor blade and cut into the bar tacking. We've got that one. Now the one in behind. Now I want us to look at the jean stitching itself. We can see that the zipper is stitched in two rows of stitching here and this is the decorative top stitching that is on the outside. It's this decorative top stitching that we want to be sure we do not touch. So I'm going to cut through the jean zipper itself. At the top of the first row of top stitching and the, just close to the second row. The reason I'm doing that is just that little bit of clipping will cause your zipper to come out, but keeping that top stitching intact. Now we can take out the rest of the zipper and it will not touch our decorative top stitching. Blade underneath the waistband where the zipper is in. A little bit of the stitching that is holding the jean in. We always like to see if it'll pull out. If it does, that's always better. Continue taking out this zipper. Now this side is already out and our decorative top stitching is still all in place. We can clean out some of these threads. Always good to clean while you're going along. Take off the other side of the zipper, run your blade underneath the, the waistband. When you have a sharp blade, you're less apt to make a mistake and cut something you don't want to cut. And your zipper is out. Now we're just going to finish cleaning up some of these threads. And now you're ready to put the new jean zipper in. And that's it. We'll put the new jean zipper in. All right. To get started, we are going to line up our zipper face down to your jean on the inside. The actual stopper, we want to go just below the decorative top stitching. Make sure your zipper, when it's flattened, is right along the edge of your jean. I am going to put a couple of pins in to hold this into place. 
pull my zipper down. This is the side we will be sewing in first. I'm going to trim the zipper. Just underneath the waistband. And the next thing we're going to do is we really need a small stitch. So I'm actually going to turn my stitch length to one. On this particular machine, that will be small enough. First thing we're going to do is baste the waistband down. You don't have to do front and back to secure with this because the stitch is small enough. Just when you're going over top of your zipper, turn your hand wheel so you don't hit your zipper teeth to get over top. This helps to hold the zipper in place for your next step, but it also gives you a good idea on the good side. See, we cannot see that stitching anywhere that we just did. That's a good test stitch. Now we're going to place the zipper underneath with my foot running along the zipper teeth. We're going to do two rows of stitching to hold the side of the zipper in place. Leave the needle in, move your zipper slider out of place. Continue sewing all the way down. Just past your decorative top stitching. I'll lift up the work, spin it around, and now I'm going to do my second row of stitching to secure it along the edge of the zipper. All the way to the top, a little front and back to secure that. Trim our threads. And this is where we see the magic, where we can't see our top stitching that has gone right through. Trim up these threads. That side of the zipper is actually all in place already. After this step, this is the only time we will be needing to change our top stitching thread. We are actually going to put the same color that is in for your jeans top stitching. We only need to change the top thread, so let's pull that through. and we are going to change our top stitching back to a three or four, whichever is going to match up the original top stitching in your jean. I'm going to go with three and a half. I'm going to clean up the decorative top stitching at the top of the first side we had done. A little bit of front and back. Just be careful going over top of the zipper that is underneath. and see how nice that looks already on our good side. Now we are going to start to put in the second side of the zipper. We have our chalk mark. Tuck that up into the waistband, up to the chalk mark. Lay your work. Once your zipper right onto your facing, tuck the other overlay into place. Once you've got your zipper tucked underneath, even with your waistband where your mark is, we're going to replace the top stitching. Use the hand wheel to go over top of the zipper teeth so it doesn't break. We are going to now put our top stitching down the zipper. I want to make sure your zipper is lined up with your facing nice and straight. Apply this overlay so it's about a quarter of an inch from your zipper teeth. Do a little bit of line up. 
sure everything's lined up into place. And let's replace this top stitching. Pull this all the way down, just a little bit past the zipper. Spin your work around. Now we're going to replace our bar tacking and any other top stitching that was removed. Here I see we just have navy, which we'll switch to. For now, we'll keep in our gold and replace the two tuck bar tacks that we took out in the very beginning. Put our stitch to a two. One, I usually go back and forth a couple times. And same with this tacking that was over on the, the stitching. Replacing the bar tacking. Clipping all our threads. Always clip as you go along. That way. There we go. There. I'm going to change our thread back to the navy. And we're going to replace the top stitching just underneath the zipper. And there you have a new, brand new jean zipper.